Bye, guys. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. I'm so excited that you're joining me for our full body Pilates workout. We'll just wait maybe a minute just to let everyone get on here. And um, while I'm thinking about it, um, I'm not going to be able to take too many questions uh, just because I'll be talking you through and demonstrating the whole time. If we have time afterwards, I'll do some questions. And if not, feel free to DM me at Carrie Shea Pilates and I'll help you answer your questions there. Okay, so just another second or two so everyone gets on. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> so good to see all of you faces. <laughs> Thanks for joining. So excited about this. And definitely thanks to Zarli for hosting this awesome platform. This has just been fabulous for all the dancers and the dance community to have a base to go to every day. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. Okay, um, why don't we go ahead and start? We have a full body workout plan, so we might need every minute of this hour. So um, I'm gonna set up back here and try to talk really loud. <laughs> And so welcome, I am Carrie Shea. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited uh, to be with you. And um, this workout is designed for intermediate and advanced Pilates goers and dancers. If you're a beginner, please be careful and just do what you can. Don't do um, too much, don't force too much. Really go for the quality. And that goes if you have any injuries, please modify as you need to, okay? And the other thing uh, I'd like to talk about is just uh, some people ask me why my warm up is so long. And I think it's really important for your mind body connection to uh, start to focus and coming into your breath. Okay, and I promise after the warm up, you will get that fun, fabulous burner of a workout. Okay, so we are going to start on your backs. And as I roll down, I'm just going to mention side note. I am pregnant, so do more what I say rather than what I do, okay? So we are going to begin with our posterior lateral breath. We're going to roll you down onto your back. The feet and knees are going to be hip distance apart, and we're going to place your fingers on the rib cage. The thumb wraps to the back of the rib cage. So we want to think about, in your posterior lateral breath, Inhaling as much as possible up, down, and sideways into your rib cage. We're trying to prevent belly breathing where your abs go up and down. We don't want your abs going up and down as you move into abdominal exercises. This breath is also so important to dancers. If you learn nothing else today, take away the posterior lateral breathing. So it can help calm your nervous system. So it's a fabulous thing to do before you go on stage. It brings your body to a mind-body focus. It relaxes you. Like I said, it calms the nervous system. It sends oxygen to your muscles. It's great cardiovascular health. Okay, so lots of good points here for the breathing. So as you inhale, we're going to try to expand your rib cage, breathing into your fingers and thumbs, inhaling through the nose. And as you exhale, sending the air out through the mouth. We take an inhale, full breath in. And as you exhale, shh, try to soften the sternum, narrowing the rib cage down and in towards your pelvis like a corset. Those fingers and thumbs wrap a little closer together on the exhales. Inhaling. And exhale. Shh. We take an inhale to breathe open into the shoulders. And exhale to narrow the rib cage down and in. Two more deep breaths. See if you can inhale even longer. We inhale. Breathing into those back ribs along the mat. And exhale. 
softening the shoulders from the ears. Inhale. Breathing into your thumbs and back ribs. And exhale. Shh. Feeling the weight of the rib cage sinking down deeper into the mat. All right, so we're gonna keep that beautiful breath going throughout our class. We're gonna move you now into thoughts of neutral pelvis. I want you to find your two hip bones and pubic bone making a triangle parallel to the floor. So you're gonna feel a little natural curve of the lumbar spine. On the exhale, we're gonna tip your pubic bone higher than the hip bones, a little pelvic tilt. Lumbar spine flattens out against the mat. Then we inhale back into neutral position. We're gonna to try to find that neutral because that neutral pelvis is what we wanna use in all of our exercises, especially as we're dancing. So we take an exhale up. Pubic bone tips higher than the hip bones, going really deep through your pelvic floor and transverse, those low abs, and inhaling back into neutral. For my dancers out there, try not to get too uh, gripping your hip flexors as you do this or your glutes. Try to really do it deep in your abdominals with your exhale. Exhale, softening through the hip flexors, really finding those low abs deep. And then we inhale back into neutral. Find that neutral position. Feeling nice open shoulders as well. Last one. Exhaling up. And inhaling back into your neutral position. All right. So we're going to try to stabilize that neutral position now. You can even place your hands on the hips for this next part. On the inhale. We're gonna to try to shift your femurs, your thigh bones over to the right as far as you can without moving your hips, particularly the left hip. Then as you exhale, we bring it back up. So we're trying to isolate leg movement without the pelvis moving, harder than it may seem. So we inhale, shift over to the left. And as you exhale, make sure, those dancers out there that love leg work and the shaking things with the legs, make sure it happens from your abs first. Abs bring you back up through center. Legs respond to the abs. Make sure it's not the other way around. Inhale. We're going to breathe into that left shoulder. Keep it down as you go to the right. Exhale. Belly button in towards the spine. Low back comes into the mat. And then the legs go. One more, stabilizing the hips. Inhaling over to the left. You might find you're starting to go further now, which is great. And exhale as you come back through center. And now let's go ahead and move the hips a little bit. It feels good, right? Arms can go out to your side. Inhale, we're gonna try to breathe into the left posterior rib and left back shoulder to keep it down and anchored as you take the knees and hips over to the right. Exhale as you bring it back through center. Inhale, really breathing width through the upper body, particularly the left back shoulder, or excuse me, right back shoulder and right back rib cage. And exhale. As you bring it back in through center. Let's do one more set, just because it feels good. Inhale over to the right. And exhale. Abs and breath carry the legs back through center. So already the abs are starting to take control of the legs, right? So once we start lifting legs in space, they're gonna feel a lot lighter because the abs are there for support. And exhale. We bring it back through center. All right, so we're gonna keep those legs hip distance apart. Let's go ahead and bring both arms up towards the ceiling for single arm lat stretches. We're gonna take an inhale, right palm rotates to face the ceiling as the arm glides back overhead. And then exhale as it comes up. And again, we're paying attention to the rib cage here. Inhale, really being true to the exercise and keeping those ribs knitting in. You're only taking that arm back as far as you can control your rib cage placement. We inhale back so you can really breathe into those posterior ribs to keep an anchor position through your rib cage. No flaring of the rib cage. Exhale back through center. Inhale, arm goes back behind you. And exhale as we come up. Feeling nice width through the collarbones. We'll take both arms back together. Slightly more challenging on the rib cage. Inhale as those arms go back. Exhale, the arms come up. Inhale, back of the neck is long, shoulders are sliding 
down deeper into the back, away from your ears as the arms go overhead. And exhale. One more. You might not be able to take the arms that far in the beginning, and that is okay. More important to maintain your proper rib cage alignment. Now, with the arms overhead, let's do a quick shoulder opener. We take an exhale to bend the elbows closer into your side. And then we inhale, lengthen those arms back up. Imagine your scapula and shoulders gliding down deeper into the back in opposition to those fingers, reaching back and elbows straighten. Bringing the elbows in. This is a hard one to keep that rib cage in. I'm already feeling like my ribs are starting to pop a little bit. Uh, some of you are pretty flexible, so you might be able to drop those arms along the floor as you do this. Some of you might be up here. That's okay. All right, so let's do one more, just finishing up the one you're working. Oop, ribs. <laughs> and we bring the arms back overhead. Elbows are going to be straight. Check in with your neutral pelvis. We're going to move into an ab prep. We're going to move the chin in towards the chest. Exhale to curl head, neck, and shoulders up, maintaining neutral pelvis at the top. Ease in the neck. We take an inhale to slowly lower back down, still maintaining that rib cage. Don't let it flare as the head drops and arms go back behind you. Exhale. Imagine your arms are pushing through water, so really getting some nice lat engagement, wrapping into the rib cage and abs. Ribs narrow down and in towards the pelvis. And we inhale to lengthen back down. Take an exhale as you curl up. Really reaching those arms towards your feet. And we inhale back down. If you want to make it a little harder, we're going to stay at the top of the next one. We take an exhale to curl up. Reach up as high as you can. Tips of the shoulder blades are lifting up off the mat. Now we inhale, glide the elbows back towards your ears. So for those super flexible people, make sure it doesn't go to here. And then we go back to your side. Inhale, breathing wide into the back. Exhale, shh. Keeping the tips of the shoulder blades lifted up off the mat as those elbows glide back. And we bring the arms to your side. Shoulders are open as you inhale, glide the elbows back. And exhale, really focusing on rib cage connection to your hip bones. Now we inhale, glide the elbows back and slowly lower back down, waking up the obliques. We go right back up and over to the right. Exhale, as you go up and over to the right, we still keep the width in the shoulders, ease in the neck, and then inhale to slowly lower back down. Really breathing posterior laterally. Exhale, as you curl up and over to the left. We're trying to keep that right hip bone down. And inhale, so we're mobilizing the rib cage, stabilizing the pelvis. Exhaling up, Shh. ease in the neck, gliding the elbows back, we lower down with control, exhaling up to the left, glide the elbows back, and slowly lower down. Okay, so you can keep going like that. If you want more of a challenge, we're going to stay at the top to the right. Exhale, curling up and over, twisting to the right. We're trying to lift that right shoulder blade off the mat. Then we inhale, glide elbows back towards your ears, and exhale, reach forward, keeping shoulders open. Inhale, elbows glide back towards your ears, and exhale, checking in neutral pelvis. Inhale, and exhale, let's do one more. Inhale to glide the elbows back, and slowly control the coming down. Good job, guys. Okay, let's do the left. Let's take an inhale to prepare, take that energy in. Exhale as you curl up. Shh. Keep as much width in the shoulders as you can as you inhale, glide the elbows back. And then exhale. Imagine you're pushing those arms through water. Inhale. So as you push your arms through imaginary water, maybe that helps you curl a little higher up. We take an inhale, elbows glide back. And exhale down. Last one. Inhale, elbows glide back. And exhale down. Now let's inhale, glide the elbows back, and slowly with control, lower back down. All right, so we're going to circle the arms around. I love seeing all the little hearts. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> so we're going to move into shoulder bridge from here. So we're going to start with those feet, four corners of the feet pressing down, toes are spreading out, no grippy toes. We're taking an inhale through your neutral spine and pelvis. Exhale to initiate pubic bone tipping higher than the hip bones 
and we slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, trying to really move through each piece of spine. At the top, we take an inhale, really feel those upper hamstring and glutes working. Inhale at the top, and then exhale, soften the sternum as you roll down, soften the rib cage. Really roll through the mid back, and then using your abdominals to really roll through those tiny little vertebrae in your lumbar spine one by one. We take an inhale, spine is long. Exhale as you roll back up. One more like this. Knees start to shoot more over towards your second and third toe. We take an inhale, collarbones, shoulders are open and wide. And then we exhale, try to keep those shoulders open as you roll down, soften sternum from the chin, rolling down each piece of vertebrae one by one. Okay, finding your neutral pelvis. We're gonna stay at the top for the next one. We take an inhale to prepare. Exhale as you roll up. From here, we're gonna flex your feet up towards the ceiling. You might need to adjust your feet slightly. We're gonna flex the feet up. I'm gonna move my feet just a little bit. We're gonna flex feet up. Now, we're gonna drop the toes down, drop the pelvis down halfway. Toes flex back up towards the ceiling, feet flex, pelvis lifts. And the toes drop halfway with the pelvis. And up. Inhaling down. Exhaling up. Check in to make sure your inner thighs are working, that your knees aren't going too wide out to the side. Everything is sits bone width apart as you do this. And up. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to keep those feet flexed. Feel your pubic bone to belly button staying really tight through the front body. And from here, we're going to do 10 little pulses with your glutes and upper hamstring up towards the ceiling. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now hold that pelvis as high as you can. We're going to toe tap. Both uh, feet are going to tap together. Tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. Now as you're tapping, try not to pulse and jump through your pelvis. Pelvis stays really high the whole time for five, four, three, two, and one. You take an inhale at the top. Now slowly roll down, even though you want to go down really fast. <laughs> Rolling down vertebrae by vertebrae through the spine. Looking good, guys. Okay. So let's do a quick hamstring stretch. We're going to bring your neutral pelvis into place. And we're gonna bring your right leg up towards the ceiling. I know all of you dancers are really flexible, so you can go ahead and bring that leg down. If you have back pain, or you need a little extra support, you're not as flexible as today, just keep that left knee bent in. Okay, so on the inhale, we're gonna flex your foot, bend in the knee, and then point it up towards the ceiling. So we're shortening and lengthening muscle. Inhale to bend in, and exhale. Using that posterior lateral breath to get deep into your stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. Feeling nice open quality through the shoulders. And exhale. Now we're going to hold here for a second. I'm going to hold one leg on the back of my calf, but in a supported way so I don't hyperextend my knee. And then with the other hand, I'm going to do a little nerve massage on the back of my hamstring, especially through those tighter areas. So give it a try. Sometimes you might notice right away that it really helps to get you deeper into the stretch. Take a couple deep breaths there. And then, after you've had enough of that, you can even do your calf, perineal muscles, whatever feels good. We're gonna take the hands on the back of your uh, quad, back of your leg, flex your foot as much as you can and subtly bend your knee, just subtly. And we're gonna feel those toes coming back towards you. And oftentimes you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your soleus muscle, just with that slight bend and toes really flexing back towards you. This is a really great stretch if you do point work. Oftentimes that soleus muscle gets tight, okay? All right, so we're gonna point the foot, shake it out, and let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, left leg goes up towards the ceiling. We take an inhale to bend the knee in. And exhale. Inhale to bend the knee in. 
feeling right leg, maybe a little longer now against the mat. We want to keep that length. And point. Inhale. And exhale. One more as you inhale. Really spread those toes out. And exhale. One hand is going to hold back the calf. And the other is going to do the nerve massage. Just a little fist of your hand and a massage. So you take an inhale and exhale. Sometimes you can point and flex the foot to get a little deeper into that. And just keep breathing. This would feel so good. I could probably do it a lot longer than we should because we only have an hour. So when you're ready, we're going to bring both hands back behind your thigh. We're going to flex those toes back. I sometimes even hold my toes to keep them really flexed. And then we bend the knee just a little bit. And often you're going to feel a stretch in the soleus, part of your calf muscle. And just taking a couple deep breaths there. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe one more deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, and we'll bring that leg down. From here, we're gonna go into a pelvic stability exercise that I love. I feel like it's super informative. Most people, when they first start this, they're like, oh, this is so easy. But if you start really trying to do it correctly, it can be really hard. So we're gonna focus on your neutral pelvis, and we bring right foot up to a tabletop top position, flexed. And as you inhale, we inhale, open that right knee, hinging open to the side, and exhale back up. Okay, I'll show it this way. So as you inhale open, we have to make sure this whole left side stays solid. And exhale back up. And also what we don't want to do is this, because that's a lot easier. You have to take the foot and knee down together. No tipping. And exhale back up. So you guys might have your own tempo going. Some of you might be able to go really low. Um, my dancers that I work with, if you want a little bit more of a challenge or anybody out there that wants more of a challenge, you can do this with your arms up towards the ceiling. If you're just starting, place the left hand on the hip and exhale back up. Maybe one more. Maintaining neutral. Inhale, feeling that whole left side solid. That's going to be your supporting standing side once you start dancing. And we bring it back down. Okay, second side. We'll flex the foot. Inhale as you hinge open, and exhale. Shh. Using that exhale to get deep into your abs and inner thigh to help bring that leg back up. Inhale, always using your breath to help movement. And exhale. Shh. Inhale. And exhale. You want to try a couple with your arms up towards the ceiling. It can be really informative. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe one or two more, depending how you're feeling. Shoulders and neck are just nice and open and relaxed. Core is taking the work. Inhale. And exhale. All right, good. And then from here, just hug your knees in for a second and just rock side to side. I'm going to change my placement so you can see this next exercise. So we're going to bring your feet into a tabletop position. And on the exhale, we rotate the legs open and close. We're going to really feel the femoral head wrapping open and close. Your right and left hamstring get closer together in the back. That lateral rotator, that upper hamstring wraps closer. And then we bring the knees back parallel. So we're starting to introduce turnout and the proper way to find that turnout. We don't want to grip your glutes. We don't want to grip your hip flexors. Trying to find that your lateral rotators are initiating the movement and your inner thighs start spiraling towards your face as you open. Ease in the, the ankle, the feet, and the knees. Try not to let them lead the movement. Now we're going to use that movement for hundreds today. You can keep the knees in a tabletop position, which I suggest for a lot of my dancers because we get gripping in the quad and hip flexor. Rather, you fire your abs, or you can extend legs out. Okay, so I'll talk you through it as we go. 
We're just going to take an inhale, exhale, curl up, keep the knees in tabletop or push them out. We pump the arms and externally rotate. Inhale, open the legs, two, three, four, five. Exhale, close the legs, parallel, four, five. Inhale, legs, rotate, open, and exhale, close, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five. Inhale, breathing wide into the upper back. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, feel the reach coming from your lats and the musculature of your armpits with the arms. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, wrapping open from the top of the thigh. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five. Let's do two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, exhale, shh, 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 shh. And let's hug in the knees. Good job. A lot of coordination with the external rotation and parallel and the pumping up and down. So hopefully you had a good time with that. And we're going to move into our next shoulder bridge. So this next shoulder bridge, we're moving into single leg bridging. I'll give you an option if you want to keep it easy or a little harder choice. I will demonstrate. Arms will be by your side. Four corners of feet are pressing down. Toes are spreading out. We take an inhale. And as you exhale, we roll up. Shh, vertebrae by vertebrae. Upper hamstring, low glute are really working. Pubic bone to belly button stays really tight in the front body. Okay. So we're going to point right foot up. If you're new, you can always just start by holding this. You want an easier option, this is it. On the exhale, if you want a harder version, you're going to flex the foot straight down parallel, as low as you can keep right hip bone lifted. Inhale, pointing up. Exhale, shh. Inhale, pointing up. Head, neck, and shoulders are nice and open and relaxed. And pointing up. Exhale, reach the leg long. Keep it reaching, reaching as far away from the body as possible and point up. Let's do two more. Exhale, shh. Right hip goes up as the leg goes down. Exhale, pelvis is looking nice and high. And point up. We're going to bring right leg down, lift the pelvis if it dropped a little bit. Inner thighs are still activating towards the center line. Left leg points up. We exhale, flex the foot down. Shh. Inhale, point up. And exhale, flex the foot down. Inhaling up. And exhale, leg gets longer as it lowers. Inhale, up, pelvis is lifting, hip bones are lifting up towards the ceiling. Let's do one more, flexing down. And inhale, pointing up. We're gonna bring left leg onto the mat, lift the pelvis a little higher, take an inhale, ease in the neck and shoulders. Exhale, soften the sternum. And again, control that roll down. One last time, vertebrae by vertebrae. It's like a back massage. The weight of your body just massages out the back muscle as you lower against the mat. All right. Good work, you guys. All right, let's keep the body going, and we're going to move into a stomach series from here. Again, I like to tell my dancers to decrease range of motion, or maybe even just totally skip it out. I know that sounds totally sacrilegious, but we want to make sure this does not become a quad hip flexor dominant exercise, right? We want you to feel this in the abs. It's a whole point. Okay, so do what you need for your body. We're going to bring the feet into a tabletop position. Slightly pointed toes, but not grippy. We're going to curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. Stabilize that neutral position of the pelvis. And we exhale, shh, hug one knee in. Inhale, exhale, shh, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. And switch and ease the neck and shoulders. Abs are really curling you up and over your neutral pelvis. Let's go ahead and add in rotation, crisscross. Left shoulder meets the right knee. Exhale, shh. Exhale, shh. I'm lifting my right shoulder up to meet the knee rather than the elbow. Shh. And the shoulders are still drawn away from the ears. Shh. 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 Exhale for five. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to hug in the knees for a quick second, and that's going to prepare us for our double leg stretch, which is next. I'm going to do this with a little turnout. 
I suggest you guys do too. It just helps relieve some hip flexor tension that can appear there, okay? So we're gonna bring the feet into a slightly turned out position, not total lack of turnout, but a supported position from your lateral rotators turned out position. We're gonna curl your head and your shoulders up. And now we take an inhale, lift the tip of the shoulder blades off the mat, those elbows slide back through the ears. Exhale, circle around. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. And exhale. We're feeling the inner thighs zip together. The back of the inner thighs zip together. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to curl up just a little higher. And we slowly lower down. Preparing for scissors. Let's bring the legs up. This will be our final part of the stomach series today. We're going to flex the feet. We curl up nice and high. Neutral pelvis. And we exhale. Right leg comes in. Two little pulses. Shh, shh. Inhale, exhale. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. These pulses are from your legs and your arms, not the head, neck, and shoulders and spine. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Let's take out the pulse and switch and switch and switch. If you want to make it harder, add in rotation. Shh. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We hug in those knees and we lower down. Good job, guys. Really nice. Really, really nice work. Okay, we're going to take your hands on top of the knees and just really easy for a second. Take a couple deep breaths and walk out your knees, just releasing any tension in the low back and sacral area. And then do some little circles. Knees come together and then they circle away. And I always like to remind people that the arms are doing as much work here as possible. So the hands are really holding onto the knees and driving the movement. So the legs can relax as much as possible. So the hip flexors and low back and hips can relax as much as possible. Let's reverse it. Inhale. And exhale. Shh. Inhale. And exhale. Shh. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. All right, so you're gonna hug those knees in. And then from here, we're gonna lengthen one leg out onto the mat and prepare for roll up. So today, we're gonna have your feet in a V position, slightly turned out. It's a supported turned out position. We're gonna feel the top of your inner thighs squeeze together. Hamstrings engaging down into the mat, heels engaging down into the mat. Again, this is to protect you from getting too quad dominant as you roll up, really tapping into the abs as much as possible instead. So we're gonna start with those arms overhead. Draw the shoulders into the back. We take an inhale, chin moves in towards the chest, exhale up. We take an inhale, C curve over the legs, and then exhale as you roll down. Feel like the legs are pushing into a wall with your, your feet are really reaching away from you. And at the same time, we're rolling down with as much control as possible. Inhale the chin in towards the chest. Exhale the whole way up. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Shh. Holding your breath actually makes it harder. We take an inhale, belly button's going back into your lumbar spine. Sternum is pressing back into your shoulder blade area in opposition to the crown of the head and fingers reaching away. A two-way stretch. And exhale, shoulder blades drive down deeper into the mid-back. Legs are reaching away from your core. And we slowly roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, softening hip flexor and quad. We inhale, chin in towards the chest. Exhale up. Inhale over the legs. Exhale as you roll down. Really squeeze the top of your inner thigh, that whole leg line into your inner heel. And we lower down. One more. We inhale the chin in towards the chest. Exhale as you roll up. We're going to change it up a little bit. We inhale over the legs. Now, if you don't want more of a challenge, keep rolling up and down on your own time. Those of you that want a challenge, I talk you through it now. We exhale, roll back halfway. Inner thighs are squeezing together. We're zipping up those abs, pubic bone to belly button. Rib cage is knitting in. Sternum is soft. Now from here, we go into maybe like a half C curve position. If you want to make it a little harder, you can always go lower. 
We're gonna inhale, elbows back to the ears. Exhale, here's that double arm lat stretch again. Inhale, gliding the elbows back towards your ears. Exhale, my eyes are gazing into the belly, so I make sure my belly is not pumping up and down with breath. I'm really breathing into my upper back instead. And exhale, the belly is staying firm and flat. Two more, inhale, and exhale, ease in the neck. One more, inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna use those abs to come back up. Very nice, guys. From here, we're gonna take a crisscross applesauce position. We're just gonna cross the legs over and just quickly counter stretch what we just did. So just walk your hands out, really easy. And take two deep breaths there. Again, posterior laterally. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly walking the hands back in. We're going to stack the vertebrae back up, starting with your low back. Imagine you're stacking your back up against the wall. We're creating length in between each single vertebrae as you stack up. Shoulders draw away from the ears. And finally, we sit your cervical spine up. From here, we're creating a nice, beautiful posture. And we're going to take a hinge forward with that posture. Fingers are going to go on the forehead. The elbows are slightly forward of your shoulders, just to help those upper traps stay turned off. Now, on the inhale, we're going to reach the crown of the head away from your tailbone, creating as much length in the spine as possible, and hinge forward in one solid piece. And then exhale, core brings you right back up to your neutral position. So we inhale, hinge forward, and exhale. Feel the weight of your head right over the tailbone as you come back. Ribs are still staying knitted in. We're starting to inhale, breathe into those posterior ribs, using that breath to already bring awareness to your back ribs, which we're gonna to start to need more and more as we come up to seated and standing. Inhale forward. This time we're gonna pause. We're gonna connect your fingers on the right and left side. Stay in the hinge, and we inhale the arms up on the same diagonal line that your spine is in. Now, a lot of things we're focusing on here, scapula stability. We're only stretching the arms as far as you can without the shoulders going up towards your ears. So on the inhale, we're drawing the shoulders down deep into the back, and you have to stop before those shoulders slide off your back. Your elbows might not straighten, that's okay. Inhale, breathing into those back ribs. And exhale, maybe two more if you can. Inhale, maybe you're starting to stretch your elbows a little bit more as you move deeper into the exercise. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now we're gonna come right back up to that beautiful posture. We're gonna slowly come back down and bring your feet forward. So now we're gonna take that posture, but challenge it by going back into a hinge this time. So just a quick moment to talk about rib cage placement. A lot of dancers tend to flare the ribs, right? So by bringing awareness to those back ribs, that is gonna solve a lot of issues. I wish somebody told me that when I was 15 instead of 30 dancing professionally because it changed my life. A lot of times dance teachers are like, oh, closing the ribs, closing the ribs in the front, knit the rib cage in. But if you really think about the, where your posterior lateral ribs are in space, it solves a, the issue from a deeper standpoint. So think about that here as we move into the hinges. We're gonna bring the feet onto the mat, fingers on the forehead. We take an inhale to lift tall and hinge back. And then exhale as you come up. Inhale as you hinge back. Try to take the head back with you. It's very heavy, so you will feel it increases your challenge. We're thinking of length through the front body, length through the side body, length through the back body as you do this. We want to make sure you don't get shorter. And coming up, you're only going to a place where you can keep that nice long spine. Inhaling back, shoulders are still away from the ears. Exhale, core takes you up. Inhale, back, 
and exhale up. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, we knit the fingers together and we go back with the elbow straightening. So we inhale, hinge back, shoulders draw away from the ears, and then we take those arms overhead, back behind you, and back to the forehead. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, ooh, shaky, shaky, and exhale. Maybe two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale, and we bring it back. Up. Okay, <laughs> we bring it back down. That's an excellent uh, exercise for your abdominals because they're staying from that lengthened position as you work. So, really nice, guys. Let's move into a version of Mermaid from here. So, I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, we're going to start with your legs like so over to your right. I'm going to try to mirror you. And if this feels uncomfortable, especially on the knees, just do a crisscross applesauce position, okay? So, you're trying to get those sits bones down as much as possible, it might not be perfect, into the mat. We take an inhale, we're gonna lift as tall as possible through that spine, and take that length as you go over your legs. Now we hold here, we're gonna really breathe into the lateral back ribs, neck is easy. And we're gonna exhale, come back up. Shh. Inhale, opposite. We're gonna keep the opposite hip down as you counter the stretch we just did. We take an inhale. Breathing into those side ribs, ease in the neck. And we exhale back up. All right, adding in a little rotation for your thoracic spine. We're going back, up and over your legs. And now we're gonna spiral underneath and we bring it up, opening through the collarbones. And then we go, we're gonna wrap underneath, wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And then we open, two, three. Many dancers, because they're so trained to spot, are gonna start this with their head, neck, and shoulders. Instead, try to initiate the movement with the, your deepest part of your core and your rib cage. So we're gonna encourage some thoracic movement today which is really great prehab for lumbar spine and cervical spine. It's going to take a lot of pressure off if you can get that thoracic spine moving. And open, open, open. All right. For sake of time, let's go ahead and switch sides. So you're going to shift those legs over. And again, if you're crisscross applesauce, just put the other leg in front this time. Okay. So we're going to grow tall on the inhale. And exhale as you go over. Inhale, breathing into that side rib. And exhale to come up. Inhale, growing tall. And exhale up and over. You can bend the supporting elbow to get deeper into the stretch if you like. Ease in the neck, we take an inhale. And exhale to come up. All right, let's start our spirals. We take an inhale, arm goes up. And as you exhale, we wrap underneath, two, and three, and then we inhale, open the collarbone, open, maybe that arm back behind you a little bit. And again, try to initiate with your bottom ribs and core, not the head, neck, and shoulders, wrapping. And all of a sudden, when you do that, you're going to start to feel a freedom in your neck and shoulders. And we bring it open, open, open. Let's do one more. We're wrapping underneath, wrap, two, and three. Maybe you feel just a little deeper spiral for the last one. And then we go ahead and open, open, and open. And then from here, we'll bring it back up. All right, guys, really nice. So we have a little bit more, hopefully, some thoracic mobility going, and we wanna use that as we move into back extension, because we know dancers, have hypermobile lumbar spines, a lot of you in cervical spines. So we wanna make sure the work is really gonna come into your thoracic, not just dumping into your lumbar spine for this next exercise. Okay, so we're gonna move onto your stomach and grab some water if you need to. I'll explain this as, as you grab water. The legs are gonna be separated, hip distance apart and turned out. We wanna make sure the legs aren't too wide, just right outside the hip bones. Okay, arms are gonna go out to your side 
and we want your forearms wide enough that you feel your scapula in the back. So no chicken wing sticking out. So we're gonna start with just a little tiny swan and then add on, okay? So uh, if you're new, this is a good place just to keep going up and down and not adding on, all right? So we're gonna take an inhale to prepare. We're gonna press your pubic bone into the mat to keep that lumbar spine long. Already the abs are engaged off the mat and we're gonna lengthen through the crown of the head away from you. Now we're reaching the sternum forward and out. Bottom of the ribs are going to stay connected to the mat, and we're even reaching the bottom of the ribs forward. So we're creating as much length in the spine as possible. I'm trying to really feel these mid back muscles working. We take an inhale here, and as you exhale, we lengthen the spine back down, reaching the crown of the head away from you, lengthening out the neck. We take an inhale through those posterior ribs to prepare. Exhale. Imagine there's a marble right in front of the tip of your nose, and you're gonna roll the marble forward, lifting through the cervical spine first. Shoulder blades slide down into your imaginary jean pockets. Now we're feeling that mid-back working. Again, ease in the neck because your thoracic and mid-back muscles are working so hard. We take an inhale to hold, and exhale to again lengthen the spine back down. All right, so this is a really great series for arabesque. We're gonna go ahead and add on if you'd like to make it a little harder. We take an inhale to prepare. Crown of the head reaches away, and we exhale, float up. Again, I'm only going to the bottom of my ribcage. If I start going too far, my lumbar spine just gets really crunchy. Mid-back muscles aren't working. So we wanna stabilize a really solid position to work from. Now, without laterally shifting to the left side, I keep my center and brush the right arm out without dropping. And exhale. You can also do this on your stomach. Inhale, out, and exhale. You might find one side's a little easier than the other. Right arm goes out, right shoulder goes down deeper into the back. And comes down. Inhale, left arm out, and exhale. One more set. Abs are engaging. Pubic bone is pressing down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Now from here, we keep that mid-back working. Make sure the legs aren't too wide for this next one because we really want to get into a particular part of your lateral rotators. We're gonna lift the leg up and lower down. One leg at a time. Other leg goes up and we lower down. Crown of the head reaches in one direction as the toes lengthen in another and then lift and up. Some of you might be able to lift pretty high. Just make sure you're not dumping in your lumbar spine. Keep those abs engaging. One more set, lifting right leg up and lowering down. One more, lifting left leg and back down. Now, can we add in opposition? This is fun. Right arm, left leg lifts up and back down. Left arm, right leg, shoulders press away from the ears and back in. Inhale, breathing into the upper back. Another reason we don't want to belly breathe here. We don't want those abs pooching out. Inhale. And exhale. Gonna try to keep those legs long, knees straight as much as possible. Hopefully you can see that. I tend to bend my knee on these. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna lift up just a little higher and slowly lower back down. Take a quick child's pose. Really nice work, guys. That's a hard one. I like to separate my knees for child's pose sometimes, so do what's best for you. And again, we're just gonna take a couple deep breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. You can walk both hands over to the right if you'd like, feeling that left sit bone pressing down. And then we're gonna walk the hands over to the left. Same thing, right hip now goes down. Inhale and exhale. Okay, good. So you're gonna come back through center, and we're gonna move into just a quick cat-cow, a little breather, again, just to find spinal mobility. We take in, oh, and another important thing I'll share with you now. We wanna make sure that your elbows are not hyperextending, right? We wanna make sure that the eye of your elbow is facing each other the whole time. We're about to hit some planks, so we wanna make sure we're already setting that up from an easier position. As soon as those elbows lock out, we know dancers <laughs> tend to do this in general, right? Hyperextended elbows. Soon as they hyperextend and lock out, 
we lose the connection into your lats, mid back and core, right? So even if you just hold this position and breathe, that might be just as much as you can do today. Some people can't even move when they first start to really feel where their arm alignment needs to be. It's so important, okay? So we're gonna take an inhale, eye the elbows facing each other. Exhale as you articulate up, low back, mid back, upper back, head drops down. Inhale, breathe into those back ribs. Exhale as you slowly articulate back out. Inhale and exhale, rolling up, lifting up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale and exhale, back down. Checking in with those elbows. Let's do one more. Inhale and exhale, rolling up, lifting up. Inhale and exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, back out. Okay, little breather there. We're gonna quickly move into a side leg lift series. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a side leg lift series and a plank, so I apologize for moving a little faster. We're gonna bring the leg slightly forward of the rest of your body in the side leg position, okay? Those of you that wanna challenge, you're gonna take the top arm overhead. You're gonna bring the leg to passe to start with. Again, both legs are turned out, and you're gonna inhale, bring the leg down to parallel passe, and then exhale to externally rotate. Inhale, this is really hard with the arm overhead. And exhale. And as you inhale down, this is good. As you exhale up, make sure this hip isn't going back, right? So you wanna keep those hips stacked. One more, inhale and exhale. And from here we go right into develop hey. We're gonna bring that hamstring up into your armpit with the knee and feel the hamstring lengthen through your second and third toe, flex the foot down. Inhale, hamstring lifts the leg to passe and flex down. Really think about how you can work that hamstring just a little higher, harder for a higher passe, right? And flex down, it'll help in ballet class. Now we're gonna reverse it, we flex up. Think about the two parts of your hamstring, either end coming closer together to make that high beautiful passe. Now we're gonna keep the turnout as you come down, don't lose the turnout. We flex the foot up, point, and spiral that leg as you lower. One more, flexing up, pointing, and we're gonna lower the leg down about halfway and place the top foot on your bottom calf. All right, now from here, I'm gonna place my hand back on top, or excuse me, from, uh, onto the mat, and on the exhale, we're gonna lift bottom leg up and inhale down. Hip bones stay stacked, exhale up, and inhale down. Really feeling the inner thigh, that bottom leg, push the body up into that high leg position, and inhale down the whole time. Upper body is relaxed and easy, thinking it's almost Friday, happy hour is almost here. Exhale, and inhale. We really need that inner thigh work. That inner thigh is gonna help stabilize your turnout, so really important. Let's do one more. Exhale, and inhale. All right, so let's go ahead and roll onto your back. We're gonna do a quick piriformis stretch. So take maybe one deep breath here. Inhale, and exhale. All right, good, let's go to the other side. Again, we're moving just a little faster to make sure we get everything in an hour. We're gonna roll you down onto your side. Hip bones are stacked. Feet are gonna be slightly forward of the hips. Arm can go overhead, easier hand on the mat in front of you. We're gonna take a passe parallel and then use those lateral rotators to open you back up. Now when you take that leg parallel, try not to collapse <laughs> and bring it back up. We're gonna really use your muscle to control the parallel position down and then use the muscle and wrap from the top of the thigh to open. Hip bones are staying stacked, inhale and exhale. Shoulders are staying stacked, inhale, and exhale. And then from here, we're gonna use that hamstring, we're bringing the hamstring up, knee goes up into your armpit, and then we extend the hamstring and flex the foot down. Make sure you don't drop back in that hip. Inhale, use your hamstring, lengthen through the back of the leg, out the toes, flex down. 
Inhale, pointing up. And then exhale, flexing down. Now we're going to reverse it. On velope, we're going to lengthen that leg as far away from you as you can. Then float it up. Feel all those abs help assist the leg in space. Hamstring contracts. High, 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 high. Passe. And then we're going to maintain the turnout as you come down. Don't go parallel with your leg at the bottom. Flexing up. Pointing. And then lengthening down. Let's do one more. Flexing up. Pointing. And then we're going to bring the top foot onto the bottom calf. All right, I'm going to place my hand in front of me. We're going to flex the bottom foot. Hip bones stay stacked. Exhale, abs and inner thighs. Scoop the leg and inhale down. Exhale, shh, and inhale. Exhale, shh, and inhale. Even as I'm lifting here, I'm starting to notice that my hip wants to go back. So really try to keep that hip stacked on top of the bottom hip. Good. Two more. See if you can lift a little higher. Lift, 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 lift. And inhale, using the breath, abs and earth, I scoop to lift the bottom leg. Exhale, and inhale. Really nice work, guys. Let's roll onto your back, and we're going to cross this leg over. Taking a deep breath here. And while you're doing a piriformis stretch, just because we're starting to run out of time, just want to make sure we get in a plank, a little bit more arm work. I'm just going to explain to you what it is. Okay, so we have options. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. First version is just holding a plank position the whole time. All right, eye of the elbows facing each other. If you want to make it harder, we go into coupe, passe, coupe, passe, doing eight. All right, so if you want to make it a little harder, there's always a way. <laughs> it's Friday, let's make it happen. We're going to do four coupe passes and then four developes a la seconde. It's fun. I'll show you quickly before we do it. So we bring the leg back to coupe, We'll do four coupe passes, then we go passe, and someone's just trying to call me, and uh, make sure that you stay true to the positions, right? Make sure you keep breathing. So normally I like to start this from a standing position, but because we're running out of time, let's go ahead and set up in a plank, and then we'll finish just by like rolling up at the very end to adjust to standing, okay? So let's bring your body into a plank position. One leg goes up into coupe, and we go passe, and down, passe, and down, passe, and down. Let's do one more, passe, and down. Here's the Alice Akam, passe, Alice Akam, coupe, passe, Alice Akam, coupe. Two more, passe, Alice Akam, coupe. Now, when you go Alice Akam, don't shift. Keep your weight square. We're going to stop for a quick second. Roll out the wrist if you need to. And I'm going to shift sides. Let's go right away into the other side. So we'll find our plank position. And we go coupe, passe, coupe, passe, coupe, passe, coupe, passe. Harder version. Passe, Alice Kong. Coupe, passe, Alice Kong. Coupe, passe, Alice Kong. Coupe, one more, passe. Don't laterally shift. Alyssa, go. Coupe, we're gonna bring your feet into a plank. Both feet down together. Take a quick downward dog. Deep breath, I need it. And exhale. Using the breath to slow down the body. Inhale. And exhale. We're just gonna bring your hands back towards your feet. Really grounding the feet. Shake your head no. And yes. And just slowly soften the back of the knees so they don't hyperextend. We're going to use your abs to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Shoulders drop away from the ears. And we stand.